Hey, we're back for my witch hat. More is good. Yeah. I did not know she dealt in magic. Ignorance don't work the way. It'd be my hour of need. What does? Be gone with you. Only fire. I could fly. Wrong one. Dick's a minute. I do. What do you want? Surprised to see you still dabbling in politics. It's quite simple, Geralt. I cannot be indifferent to Redania's fate. Call it patriotic concern. Concern. <laughs> right. So it's concern that compels you to bump off Radovid. I think often of the country and its future. And the more I think, the clearer it becomes that as long as Radovid sits on the throne, Redania has no future. Oh, no, no. Recently mentioned you uh, have something of a soft spot for me. Can <laughs> I ask you a favor? Oh, that's quite the start, Geralt. What's it you want? Need to carry out an ambush. Could use a few of your men. An ambush? What's this about? Give me men who will survive the fight. They can tell you afterwards. <laughs> I like you, Geralt. That's why I'll give you not one, not two, but three, three of my best men. Number in the nineteen. <laughs> three is enough. Then it's settled. Nice. Uh -huh. 
Alright, let's meet Zoltan. And by Zoltan, I mean Zoltan. Everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bug of skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, uh, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Hmm. Too suspicious. suspicions. Think yes. about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Yeah. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. <laughs> Just hope he's got his cabbage. Watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her. Oh, weepy eyed. Oh, no, like no, no. Like my when his guts knotted up. Fine. Fine. She can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. Some time before it does. Wait, her strap well, disappeared. How but about a game of Gwent? No. Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics. That's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Oh, no, no, no. Let's do it. Oh, that bell will be straight through. Oh, 
whoa, 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 come down. Should just leave. Hmm. Well, girls, go after him. Sure. Leave these here to us. Whoops. Oh. Rope through here. Shit. Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Rents are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. That's what she said. Whoop. Beehive. No, 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 no. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Hey, <laughs> hey, Didn't know you were live, well. What do you mean you didn't know what even Discord says? Eh, uh, one moment. Even the Discord said I was live. Come on, man. How dare you? Where? Hoof prints. Hoof these nuts. Hide the wenches. Witch is coming. Hide the wenches. Nice. How do you fill a fool's parsley, have you? No. You? Anyone right through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. <laughs> oh my, something at the bottom, dash by. Turn left ahead. Oh, what a kind peasant. Which were a wench you were carrying. Swear it on your head. Squealing <laughs> and whining so. <laughs> Why don't you all just get off my back? Merchant. Greetings. Give me something. Wouldn't mind a good your stock. Ooh, is it any good? Probably not. Honeysuckle. Greater Stribog. Hmm, not bad. Uh, pshhh. No. And chicken leg. Farewell. Unless I need something. Check out me. Alchemy. New. Oh, hence moon dust. Why not? Got something. All right. And I said yesterday that I'm probably gonna stream today, so why didn't you expect nothing? Hmm. Man, Looks it's like it might have started limping. Bush. Bush. The fucking horse died. What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged oh, into I got our hut. Some food. Turned even. us out before we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. <laughs> mm. Dandelion. 
So, Hunter's barricaded himself inside? Is there another way in? Truth be told, there is. Hmm. Where's this other way in? Aren't you curious? It's an ordinary tunnel, back way out in case of trouble. We don't let strangers in there. Show it to them, even. And they're... Shut it! Want to get rid of this hunter or not? No. Honest? I can see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Hmm. Ricky, sell a door around the back. No. Thanks. What about just front door? Sit there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. But what then? How long do you think you can stay? Boy. Ooh, hot pumples. That's good. I needed some of those, or one of those. Anything here? Locked. Why is it locked? It guards, um, guards bones. Yikes. Hmm. Ooh, Arcanomorph. Oh, it's DLC, DLC. No thanks, no thanks. It's DLC garbage. Oh. And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Oh, look Not at that. that. I really have a choice now. Enhanced Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, overcome one. What do you mean? Hmm. It's a dim light. Powerful lights fall. Hey, not bad. And no need of either. Along the way. I could ring your neck like a flat end. Yeah, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you. Whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold fingers. One hundred gold. You can want water. Oh, it's above. No thanks. No, no, no. no. Might not be more than starting today, but tomorrow. Quiet. Stop the edge. What? No, no, no. You see, me and Dad, we don't. Oh, he got gagged. Yikes. Alright. Up. No! Why are you going down? Why are you going down? Points. Oh, don't tell me the bot turned itself off again. Damn you, Streamlabs. One moment then. Yep. Uh, Streamlabs. It does that sometimes. I have no idea why. I know it. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Cloudbot and it's on. It's on, the bot's on, you should do it. Ow. It should work. Look at that. Did good. Flawless Ruby. Uh, I'm gonna attack. Release. Ow. Just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Yikes. It's been a while since you were last in Novigrad. 
What? Come on, we'll talk outside. Ah, cold manila waffle. Priscilla, so good. What are you doing here? Are you all right? You have me worried Oof. sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lash to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? Ooh. I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. Oh, you dumbass. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the wild hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something huh. went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. Yeah. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Oh, yeah. Flashbang and flashback. Yikes. Yay. Ooh. The amazing soundtrack is back. Whoa, in the half. Stab. And guts, okay. No, oh, he opened the gate, okay. Go, 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 go. You <laughs> Just missing everything. Yikes. Leave your horse. We have to. We're almost there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, click, click. <laughs> the fucking voice killed them. <laughs> Like that. Hey. Guards! Guards! Dandelion! No, 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 no. Ah! Oh, ouch. What a dummy. an adventure one minute we were pulling off the heist of the century the next we were prey a pack of hunters on our tail yeah a splendid story but i think i've had my fill of this boasting come zoltan we must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all Oof. nothing at all Gave nothing at all material for a volume of ballads and this one will sell like hotcakes right Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. <laughs> Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just worried. About Oof. who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? 
The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. Yeah. You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Orson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Hmm, he wasn't thrilled. Well, he wasn't yeah. exactly thrilled. Hey, while you were at it, you didn't think to put in a good word for me, did you? Something like, I never intended to cheat him, and if he harms a hair on my head, he'll have you to deal with. I didn't have time. Ran out of time. You don't care a lick about your friends. What about Siggy Rudy? How's he doing? Fine, last I heard. Oh, that's too bad. Because I have a sneaking suspicion he might be a teeny bit mad at me. And that's your fault. Yeah, Siri ever tell you what this is? And to Horson. Why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Dumbass. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Orson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Huh? What was Siri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it? Did she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. <laughs> I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed, but boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like Smart. this. The file Elaine. Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Don Ep Tanaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. <laughs> what a dummy. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Care Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive. But she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ah. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Valen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. No. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dan. And I'll gladly have a go when you've done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I know. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Yay! Velen, oh, that little Novigrad done the main story. By the way. Hey, nice. What's this? Why ever would he want that? Level up. Uh, <laughs> we are um, grateful. We wanted to demonstrate that. 800 so, XP. We got this wee gift for you. Portrait of the Hierarch. Not nice. bad. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. Got oodles on them. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Nice. Wait, I'm overcome with due to the fucking portrait. Shitting me. Uh. You. 
Yes. Ooh, not bad. Little only. Uh huh. They're all good. Everything's here good. I should sell those. They are heavy. Alright. Nope. Ah, scan again. Secondary, right. Cabaret. Yes. Then maybe a treasure hunt even. Cat's cool. Would be nice. This one. The Griffin School ones. It's whatever. It's whatever. Yeah. May your beard grow robust and free. Not bad. What do you Get want? Up, pal. Aww. White. That's DLC, those two. I'm not even gonna check them. Fail to send your. No, right. But I didn't. Why would you select that? Mm. Dummy. Alright. You, 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 you. We'll go here a bit later. Alright. What's this? I'm like a settlement, what the fuck? Where's that? Stone cutter summit. Oh. Huh. No, okay. Alright. I'm watching you. Somewhere. No, okay, we do that. Oh, it's that guy. What do you want? Name's Muggs. Rost and Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief oh, ran no, off no. with the documents. Very important documents. I need you to get it back for me. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Here, she can ask. But in fairness in your eyes, maybe the oh, last chance. I'm out of ideas if this don't work. Let's go, 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 go. What's the planks on the roof? Shine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. From now on, assume your every Whoa. move's observed. Whoa. 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 And then what? Over the documents, thief. Me, a thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was. 
demand. <laughs> Lost. Demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Uh, please. How much are they worth to you? Well, I don't read myself, but I've seen the seals. I know it ain't no scrap of ass white. I won't sell them to the first fella comes asking. What if I just do this? Give me the papers. You have to. Punk. True. Definite. Yikes. Ooh. Lost stranger to the bottle, eh? Okay, and keep show me something. Welcome good. to the Seven Cats, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. Ah. What's sure. the menu today? These nuts. Extra dry, eh? He's got a. Uh. Eh, whatever. Food and drink, nice. Uh, a wine named after him. What a guy. Anything I can set, sell to you? Spiste! <laughs> Imagine. Hmm. Nope. 56. What about you? 64. Yeah, sure. As long as I'm making money. So long. Like level 17, right? Hmm. Must an essence. Yeesh. Monster feather. Damn. Don't care about bolts. Hmm. Feline silver sword. Not bad. Huh, trousers, I already have those, those whatever. Alright, let's go. Get over here. Uh, oh, okay. That's let's go. Approach. Oh, you dummy. Dummy horse. Get him. You could hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. Hmm. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. But like me Aunt Rosalie always say, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. Just like him. The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Bingerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. Them at the game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W what was it? <laughs> he weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. You may have it any other way. It's gonna be like 50. Oh boy, if it's 50. Don't tell me it's 50. One experience point. Jesus Christ, game. 20! Holy shit. Not even worth it. I kind of teleport to you. Yikes. 
I serve the eternal fire. What you got there? Dried oh, what's my man? Good yeah. yeah. element market. Oh. Any magic ones? Oh. Non-human oh. iron. Need of, mate. Look oh. your kind. Do you read me now? What's your hair lately? Yes. My and sod off. Sod off. What's this? The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. Nice. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Just wanted you to meet my new pals before the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chief A. Soon. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside. Then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Friends, Duke and Earl, don't nice show game. Your in here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Nah. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he uh, Geralt, old pal? Oh, about no, no, to ask no. me for help, aren't you? Oh, no, the no, The thing no. is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about the win. Oh, Getting what? better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. But... I've got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Sure. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? <laughs> nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. But? Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Damn it. Sure. Let's go. Meow. Meow. I'd let even you into the city. A diabolist. Oops. An old ship's coming. Inside and in hot water, We've got to find another way in. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Parkour. And nice, easy. Now, what she drinks in the evening before she. Oh, boy. Us. 
Zed. Bam. He did. Anything? No. Nope. No thanks. Same guys? Fine. No. No. Duke will be peeved he didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? My pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isenbrim card. Greetings. Ha. <laughs> Come on, Rigo. Time to shine. Get him! Pathetic. There's poison. Look, 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 look. Easy. Punch up. Ends of it. Grim foil to you. I'm looking for some square tail deck. Ledger. I wish this card was going around for. They were looking for something. What do you mean? Something nice meme. They were looking for something. Hey, they didn't even try the chest. What a bunch of dumbasses. Looking for these nuts? Oh, yeah. And you hmm. must be the names of people Zed sold cards to Caesar and uh, Ravik. Oh, no. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Let's go. Monk. Uh, I like how the quest fails. Uh, we got to collect them all. But I, I should have failed like ways ago. Like when I, hmm, when they didn't get the balance card. Gold. gold is used for you. Hmm. Oh god! Ooh, look at that. Nice. Enhanced thunderbolt. Yeah. And that's it. You always wear tight trousers. What was it? Ah, it's a fault to see you. Looking for Jolly. Zoltan. Get out. Uh You've been in town a while? Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Demir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, Everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The big fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble. And any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. <laughs> so, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. Not bad. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Sigi Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horson Jr. Horson Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. But I do. But I ain't gonna share. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? 
I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Oof. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Uh, you. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> they say elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. It's like the... Zeds. I don't know what they're called, the Pokemon cards that they sport. have. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson in the Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who? Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing. We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Nice. But Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever mm. since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. Let's go. Sultan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Yeah. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Hmm. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. That's it. Aww. Uh, yeah. Let's go, Ravik. Whoop. Let's go, 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 go. Ouch. I'm not in. Um, nope, nope, crafting, nothing, right? Huh, but do I have some stuff? Oh, feline sword, nice, give me. And that's it. Good. Nope. So long. Now you in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Twelve percent art sign intensity. Amazing. Many thanks to you, Geralt. What do you mean? To leave this city somewhere. Golden Sturgeon. Ram, ram, turn again. Ah, he killed for some oh time. This is the law, my bad. First back in pole. Face the sword in front of me. Hello. 
How about that? It's the flea ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life, and uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. Oof. So, it seems the witch will have to play for you. Sound good? No. See? Rab is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Nope. I got no use for Ravi. This witch is no fun. Uh, whoa, uh, oh. but not really, he's carrying nothing. Yikes. Oh, well. Wait, that was a level up, right? Still got nothing. Huh. Push no of those. Nope. Sure, why not? Just put it. Can I be of service? Give me the exchange. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rig. Yes, 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 yes. To eight or two, not bad. Your bread, your coin, all is shite. Damn it, lost oh. the way again. As they say. There we go. Ah, uh, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got Dead. the Natalis card. Excellent. Now we've just Caesar bills in to fleece, and we'll be home free. Caesar. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs in Serge's cabinet of curiosities. Certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Nah. Afraid Caesar'd never sell Fringilla. <laughs> Don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. Oh, I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. <laughs> three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. Sure, let's do it. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Well, Shivi, she's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. 
Uh, well, you see, uh, <laughs> I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty-handed. Oh? Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Uh, yes. Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. In the pond town. Oh, no, no, no. Gretcha. Can't listen to this whole <laughs> Come in. <laughs> so what the thunders are eager fighters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. <laughs> Just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut up. So, <laughs> recently, I, I took this time. Care out? Care to chime in? How is Xander tasting you? Mm. Yeah. Recent early isn't a word. Could you bring along, Chivin? Some flowing <laughs> grammar purist? Well then, did you hear Vibo Batona last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cop suckers like like always. Porter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need live bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Do my way. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what are you and your pals? He's up at Cair Morhead. Hmm, live bait. Live bait. You see, Chive, he'll make a good angler yet. In some 50, 60 years. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Get out. Go fetch us another board boy. Yeah, sure. In a bit. No. You've forgotten why we've come. How are we going to get pissed in one board Fine, I'm going. Ah. Well. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Yeah, well, last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have yanked for Well. Nope. Sure. Nope. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Whoa. Nice. Drawer is open. And a mug in the cabinet. Okay. Uh. Oh, see you. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Nice. Secret door behind the bookcase. Classic. Oh yeah, didn't need those. Ooh, An another room. Actually, whoa, look at that. Batier de Rideau's dagger. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Dining set yeah. from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Fringilla uh, Beagle. Here's Fringilla. With which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Damn. That's some collection. You walk in Devet's skull. Hmm. Pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Not bad. Sure. What's this? Portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. And we statuette of a man. Hmm. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. 
Yeah, I can. I think. No. Yeah. Oh. Well. Done with it. That's even gonna set it back. Like, who cares, right? Yeah. Zoltan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. Grown late. Wait, now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Oh. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him, and you two get lost. No. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for guilt and butcher. Well, up to it, lads. Have they got all day? Stay. Just beat him to death. Oh, come on. As, as soon as I draw the sword, I get hit twice. Whoa! Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. <laughs> Got a pack. She <laughs> instantly skips down. Nice. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Ta. Huh. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Of guardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Disgusting fellow. I think I shook hands with him. Yikes. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. No. Uh, if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. But she's not so there. So I've got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. Go all right, are you? And? The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Huh? Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's some juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, girl. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Sure. What do you want? It's gonna be something stupid. Oh, I can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beer. And? Who this? Ah, at last. I fear the body has gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less huh. in that order. Huh. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Oof. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with you. Oh, yeah. Do it. Really. Geralt, bastards get away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse in. I'll tend to the others. You now. I'll kill him. Bonk. Bonk. Kidding me. Click. No more hands. Click, click, click. 
Ow, my hands. Go on, Geralt, after him. Sure. I'd only slow you down. No oh, shit. Uh, about, about. Go. And above. What? I can't understand a word. Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Damn. Never. What do you mean, never? And you cut guy's thumb off. Yikes. I was just teleporting now. No, he's that fast. Ah, <coughs> locked. Got cocked. Now you, anything here? No. Wait, how did that down die? Hello. <laughs> Leave me, swiving drowners. Well, you could use a witcher. Ha ha! Highly amusing. If if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. No. Whoa. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. Oof. Stabby, stabby. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I've never managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. Find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Prefer the coin. Rather have the coin. It's yours. I'll still pay the King of Beggars on time. Wouldn't that cocksucker be surprised? <laughs> Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. <laughs> Dumbass. And, uh, carrot. Six to four XP. Hey. 150. Come on. Be gone. Well, well, no. Just 150. What a ripoff. I'm just sleeping. <laughs> Hey, I can't control what I inherit. Control what you do with it. I know. 
I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. No, if it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. Yikes. I have not strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. He just leaves. What? I have not strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Oh, she's gonna stand here. Okay. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. <laughs> Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. <laughs> save it. And why don't you save your alley? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Then do it. One hitch. I need coal. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekama jigs, maybe you can help a little friend out. Yikes. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. <laughs> How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. Sure. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. Yeah, Vivaldi. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. You know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. Oof. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zaracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. Except? We can borrow the coin from her. What a dumbass. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. A long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Hmm. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Yes. Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Nothing. Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine. Fine, but... Carol, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Yikes. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Sunset? Oh, my dear. Oh, oh, he's 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 up this time. All right, let's go. We lives. Yeah. yeah. Hi. So, how do you go with this thing? I was fucking a bit out my own business. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Shut up. I'm in a rut. I've such a hard time. On your way. Don't touch me. Yes. Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Nah. Precisely. 
I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. I've got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. Why don't you prop these nuts? Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. At dusk. Yikes. Read what? Well, if back then I know what my profession would be. Ah, finally made it. Uh, Listen, beggar. Here's the plan. Jester. Sophronia loves so then, like the romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Yes. I knew you'd see the sense in it right away. <laughs> Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. You too, I would have the hat. Oh, Maybe yeah. Lines already. You've written it. Even jingles. So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromas, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But. No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Sure. Tremble. Flaxen hair, wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. <laughs> Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. Yikes. <laughs> More like the Crimson Asshole. <laughs> More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin. <laughs> you shall regret the day you were born. Oh. You're better than I thought. Oh. Oh no. Stop. Help. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar for my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, not bad. That actually lit up the place. Light up, I mean. Alright, let's go. Woo, slidey. Mm. Okay, I just did that. Fuck. 
Let's make. Oh. Oh, the. Why is the cursor back? God damn it. Oh, he was spinning. Saw him spinning? I saw him spinning. Why is the cursor back? God damn it, game. What of options? Points. Just half a mil. Yikes. Damn it! And double damage to Kurosu. Bet half a mil, I dare you. No right here. <laughs> Bet it, or I'll take it away. <laughs> In the morning. How are things, Dudu? So so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said wonderful, but I can't complain. I'm in one piece, not bound to a steak atop a pyre. Ever considered leaving, forgetting no regret altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? Ta. The wall's not yet crept here. Damn. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the pictures are too much. But you don't have to be a human. Pick the nose. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. Yeah. You gotta admit, your manga is a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. Ha. A doctor assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've heard what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. Oof. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. What's this? Dudu, tell me. The halfling Biberveld goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. Ah. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. Yikes. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then a ship full of my goods sank. I Aww. pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to Skelligan Raiders, rendering me insolvent. Oh, when rip. inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Oh well. Sucks to be him. Take care of yourself, Dudu. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. Oh, damn it. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. <laughs> we'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now. Or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. He promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrive. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised that she's to choose. Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's what? not for me. Now, would you <laughs> please decide where I bust a vessel? No idea what that is. Get him. You've known him long. Say something. Uh. Yeah. Let's sure, decide. I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. <laughs> he's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. 
And I associate boudoir with a feminine elegance that also has an edge. Claws, you might say. That fits a cabaret perfectly. A wonderful nice. choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Yay! Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. That's what she said. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Uh... What? We talking about the same Dandelion? The man who loses a fortune worth half of Novograd in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. <laughs> he's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Okay, let's go. Oh, this. Uh, damn, cursor is killing me. Let's just restart the game. Just, what the fuck? Get out. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Siri. Sadly, she was no longer in Overdrag. Sadly. Despite my bandits, and cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light in the guts of things. Where to? This I did not know. Oh, boy. Ah, there we go. We can gather it here. No shit across the Yes. Sodor. I say. A real rogue, you must Ooh. be. Oh, no, no, no. Let me hold it. Sod off. Oh, no. Open up. What's this? What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. <laughs> Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? Oh, no idea. 
Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around <laughs> here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio, you'd visit her often. Yikes. I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Let's find the key. Fine. Let's find the key. Damn it. Out here. Now where is she? Uh, the there key. There you go. And they're talking in there. Actually talking. Property. I'll not let her slay her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. Damn. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. So. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Yeah. Well, there's a truth to it. <laughs> My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. Yes. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say... Coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Coin, you say? Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. SMH. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was buddy in your hand. When to solve an issue, right yeah. Down. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. The plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlek? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlek, famous no. portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. Huh. I'll go see Rocklick. You head back to the Rosemary. Or Priscilla will have my head. Really? Damn. You go? No, said that for the hell of it. Nah. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Oh, oh. oh my god. Uh, where's the thing? 
Inside. Above? What do you mean? Wow, bread in the chest. Yikes. Wait. Huh. Don't get it. Out of here. Oh my god. A reaper's come for me. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go. I wish you health. <coughs> what is it, brave boy? Looking for adventure? Yes, sir. You do well not to pest a fuck. Go, 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 go. No bread, no bread. My mum don't let me do this. Stop staring, your dick's out of work. Seaman. Boring as fucking shite. And. Nothing doing. We hear. That's not good at all. Looking for Rodrick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Meeting times first come, first serve. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Friend. What? Lost your nerve? I just beat him. You regret this mutant. Oh, I actually have to fight him. Okay. Oh. Damn it. not good at all that's a double hit okay ah you HP I'm gonna get robbed. God fucking damn it. How much rolling owes you, but everything in this house is mine. Wanna get something back? Try the bagel by the state. Rolling's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of here. No! Fuck that. I'm loading. Checkpoint, yes. Yikes. Imagine losing fight. SMH. Damn it. Ooh, mineral water. Carbonated, even. New favorite drink after New Year's. I was here. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's this. Wait, I went the other way. What the fuck is this? Thanks, game. And this got me here faster. Wow. Alright. Hey. Alright. Let's see here. Why'd your hair go white? Well, it's a little bit beating him. Okay. You're not.
to end this. Oh. Change the target game. The yeah. fuck? Damn it! Wait, not auto save. Manual save. Yes. What the fuck was that? Getting hit from the other guy when I'm blocking the one. No. Getting hit from guy number one when I'm trying to block guy number two. But it should block guy number one as well. Fuck. Damn it! What's this? So mad I can even inhale right. Yikes. Yada 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 yada. One, two. One, two. One, two. Look at this. That's enough of that. Oh. Tap to one, it's fine. Click. Oh! Just like fucking Looney Tunes. One punch, both are down. Yikes. I don't know what I see, my camera is zoomed Tell out again. Damn it! Placards. Hmm. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna loot anyway, so shut up. And you. Ooh. Dried these nuts. Closest the uh, you. I tell you, this city is about the right cabbage oh, last night. Right Head now. feels like it's full of sound. Think I don't know you was the only terror you are. No. Chance to surrender on orthodox books. Oh, the right tracks blaspheming the sacred flame, especially. Jump! And you. Vagal bird. Didn't I? Oh, I did this one, not that one. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Alright, time for some water. Don't tell me I have to race again. Yeesh. Imagine that. Ah. Wah, so good. No, but really. What does the camera zoom out already? Oh, all of a sudden. Um. Well, well, well another it. freak. Seems you're a considerable sum in the red, but huh. you shan't back out on that account, eh? You won't have much of a choice before. Yikes! Long. Come now, old sport. We can't allow that. Who they wager with then, eh? Listen. Here's what we'll do. We'll make one more bet. If you win, I'll pay your debts and we'll continue playing. What do you say? And if I lose? One worry at a time, old chum. Well, I'm off to place yes. my bet. 
Henry Rotlick. Henry Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your debtor. service. Nice. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. He looks familiar. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Oh, I'm gonna have to race. Oh, boy. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. Gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. What the fuck is that? 200, that's it. What the fuck? Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts. Then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Hmm. What's your hair lately? Mandrais. Let's go. H, I'm gonna slow down. And I'm at H. Give you. <laughs> the way it's meant to be played, by the way. Oh, it's the short distance. Okay. Never mind. Then. Easy. Never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Nice. Oh, what a cumber. Oh, what did I win? What did I win? It's not because of the crowns, right? Master crafted saddle. Whoa, look at that. 35 stamina. What the fuck do you mean? It's shit. It's literally garbage. What the fuck? Yaks game. Hmm. Uh, you got nothing. What do you. Mastercraft. Fucking hell. More like master shit. Alright. Hmm. She cast no spells. O on my honor. An elf sauna worth less than a man's shit. What's this? You seek someone stranger? It's chamomile. I go with it. She brew teas for stomach pains. Aha! So she did make potions. Drew, make a note. Her father tested one. Potions? Are you mad? Imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. Don't you like it? But I thought a boudoir would be right in line with your tastes. Oh, you chose it. Well, 
I'm not saying it's bad. <laughs> oh, shit, in his pants. Different. Nice. Not exactly what I'd envisaged. You know, now that I think about it, you're absolutely right. A boudoir is the perfect setting for a cabaret. What about Rotnik? Did you get the placards? Rotnik said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Chameleon? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all that. But it conjured images of Tumerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Not bad. What about choreography? You prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. What? I guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Uh oh. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate. I'm buying. Uh, sure. Why not? That's my boy. What do you mean you're buying? You own the fucking place. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? You heard a Chanel. She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. Yikes. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. <laughs> he himself can't believe. <laughs> One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, it wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Yikes. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Um, Dandelion? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. It takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Basta Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly hurt! Uh, been attacked! Uh -oh. They took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? Oh, shite! She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please! Of course, let's go. Uh-oh. Gods... Priscilla... Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Yeah. Beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into Oof. her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? What the fuck? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Ooh, Geralt. Harsh truth. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. 
Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Yes. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. I like his chops, though. for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. It's not a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not going to sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. The easy hmm. assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Yes. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Okay. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Of course. Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Hmm. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Yes. Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Come on, fart. You lead. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. <laughs> Is it not better to nip the problem in here that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Level 16, why would you scale up? Not that I'm complaining, but still. Oh, what the heck? Hello. Why did I get the hit? How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a trobrets. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. What? What do you mean by that? Find about the skull. What am I doing then? Stupid game. Nothing. Neo. Alright. Take the ladder. Take these nuts. E this is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Cut some of Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Reverend Nathaniel Pastoni. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Dwarven woodcarver, probably not better. 
Man, not him. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Oof. Where? Head. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Yeah. Damn. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. No, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Hmm. Uh, Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the Oh, left Tommy, side Tommy, of Tommy, Tommy, you hear? And a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Yeah. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. The edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat's scalded. Mm, hands. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Ooh. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He yes. really kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Yikes. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons. We have a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. Well, now for the grand finale. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No yes. sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only no. as the killer's potential motivation. Well, his genitals. We ought to inspect those. I see. You clearly.
clearly find <laughs> fascinating. I fear I don't share your passion. Let's focus on other parts of his anatomy, shall we? And his genitals. We ought to inspect those. I see. You clearly find gonads fascinating. I fear I don't share your passion. Let's focus on other parts of his anatomy, shall we? His genitals. We ought to inspect yep. those. I see. You clearly find Wait. gonads fascinating. I fear I don't share your passion. Let's focus on other parts of his anatomy, shall we? His genitals. Come on. Inspect those. I see. You clearly find hmm. gonads fascinating. Wait. See anything interesting? His right foot. Doesn't strike me as the right time. Yeah, nope. apologies. Mm -hmm. And his genitals. We ought to inspect those. I see. His genitals. I see. Wait. I thought that was a joke. His genitals. I see. His genitals. I see. His genitals. I see. No. His genitals. We are in. I see. His genitals. I see. His genitals. I see. What the fuck? Look at his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that. Some of it. His genitals. We are in. I see. His genitals. There was a joke here. What the fuck? Can't remember how to do it. His genit. I see. I'll think a little bit. New, new, new. I thought there was a joke, an actual joke. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah, uh, I know, but there was supposed to be a joke in this. Uh, in this dialogue. Uh, let me go. What's the goal? Uh, pop, 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 pop. Like this. New. New. Damn it. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. New. Nope, 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 nope. The, I remember that it was a thing if you just Ask him about the genitals a few His times. Genitals. I see. Geralt would actually pick the fourth wall and look at you like, right. what the fuck? I think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have I forgot. Been. It was this. Hmm. Oh, wait. That's actually a uh, thing. Uh...
Bit of troll. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. Hello. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. <laughs> you old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. What do you mean? And you've not changed oh. a bit. Ah, yeah. 30 years what part. Carver's body? Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That port of pirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace, the corpse collector, brought us the body. Eustace, bad. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Oof. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. You didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case, I will let you know. Hmm. Um, thank you. How nice of them. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. Tap true in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Oof. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Mm. Dream job. Yeah. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Mm. Sure. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Nice. <laughs> All right. Shut off! Come on, what do you mean? Bloody bum! Shut off! Well, yeah, you coward. Who kisses your ass today will bite it tomorrow. The corpse collector. Yeah. Bandits can't go out in the streets no more. At least the father didn't used to kill women. All the foul is the king of beggars, and you'll get no mercy no matter who you are. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I. How'd you know? <laughs> Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Oh yeah, I remember. No ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Yes. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? Who were at? Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. 
one wet so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they call her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. <laughs> what happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shock that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. <laughs> You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, are you a tax collector? Peace off. Woo! What a. Slipped off. <laughs> Tom, what did you find on him? I, uh, as you wish. Rifles, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sill, it is new. That's human skin. What? Priscilla, next victim's Damn. name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Get, out of, Get my out of my sight, sight. now. What's he doing here? I'm dying. Wait, what's this? It's not the alley. Oh. This the alley, yeah. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit, you stupid much, lay down. Off, I run to a meat or is his fighting dogs. But these two mutts cost me a chunk of change. I sleep sound at least. So, who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Whoa! What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. You near my family or? What's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. I saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. I thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. <laughs> but the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze. I found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. They don't talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? And they not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. They know they could have folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. But they care about something. Click. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Yeah. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. <laughs> Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch. Human dishrag. 
rather upset. <laughs> Human dish bag. Don't rightly know but... what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Now where I can find her, this dish rag. City cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Hmm. A fever. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Oh. Fever. Wait. She gave him the clap. Nice meme. What's this? Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Statues of the old gods. Oh, come on. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. What a corpse. corpse. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... Since they found Fabian, but I'll open it for you if you want. Please do. That's gonna be ugly, right? More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless eyes humanoid, yeah. completely rotten. Yikes. Who are you? No. Who are you? Damn it. Hi. Have a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm hmm The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Molitoli. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Went <laughs> down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple. And the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. <laughs> Fine. Need to look around. Be my guest. All right, sure. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. I already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. Oof. I need not know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. Oh, he's then still made a talking. Pyre of sculptures yeah. set them aflame. Damn. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson to him, you, the whole city. Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Alright, get out of here. This drink for its nearly nights. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Damn. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Coroner, Coroner, okay. Here, this time of year, human Priscilla says that him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Son of a take him from the back. Gotta get around him. <laughs> Wait, can I just? Oh, 
Oh, he teleported. Okay, save, save me. Why can't I punch her though? Time to end this. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Easy. Think you got me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant. Holes can fight back. Uh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Here I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. What a dumbass. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. <laughs> Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Her dream's gone now. I'm back to work in sweet corners. Sorry I wonder, wonder which you part of her is whistling, though. Pause. Also, I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Do you recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. All right. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Sure. Oh, the head's ringing. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. What's this? Concert citizen. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Awful pile. Is that it? Oh, it's good. Alright. Get out of here. Why would I need to manually open? But I think I don't know. You was the only terror you are. <coughs> no loitering round here. <laughs> Just to get my swallow back. To puke or not to puke, that is. Hey, you! Yes, you! You got water on the brain? Yes. Wait. Lay me down yes. a barrel of beer and a cup. Greetings! Whoop, whoop. Welcome, Master Witcher. Nice. Geralt, right? Glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. Yeah, and all those fun I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. First. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Yikes. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home, 
on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? Damn. It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. Damn. A senseless, brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with Whoa. surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left. Student, you say, but you look in the morning, younger than him. Care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming Sure. Fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing. Hmm. Sure. Let's start. Right. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was yeah. bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. You. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and. What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Let's see. Patricia Vagelbud. Oh, no. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Hmm. Closest. Uh, you. Till next time, master. Be gone, ah. damnation. And you. Oh. And you. And you. Run, 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 run. Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. I always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, damn it, you guard. Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seems sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even Oof. if it's true, our gods... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is. Just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. Damn it, what a dummy. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square. Not a word on the way home. She had all the holy books in signals when the crows gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. And? Ah. Hear that? Calm and quiet. 
All seems to be in order. Close your eyes, Tommy. Go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine, but wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. And three, two, one. I would care for fucking dogs. Spread out! Murder is still here! There he is! Get him! I wonder how big is the fucking thing. your eyes listen you got the wrong guy save your trickery taking you to the heiress <sighs> well killer's already escaped lead the way hero listen mate we got him lady ingrid wasn't easy but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself this man is innocent forgive me i saw him running it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Oof. Imagine being that guard right now. Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. Oof. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Let's hope so then. You bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is, sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name but the place too. Won't get away this time. Oof. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to Crippled Kate's fast. Can I steal everything? Silver pantaloons. Alright, get out of here. Yeah, keep trying. Oh. Whee! Uh oh. <laughs> okay. And uh, 
By the time of the white first comes, do not eat healers now. Sure, dude. Morning. Rain again. Man, man. Man. Oh. Oh. Upstairs, upstairs. There we go. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Uh First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them. Trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop, not unless someone gets in your way, like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. No. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled gates, to sweet Nettie. You didn't leave it, who did? I don't know, but I see we must talk. Oh. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go, but to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. Damn. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. <coughs> uh, leave. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. All right. Uh, upstairs. Yes. I was made for loving. Same. How about a fresh of love? You mean me to grab another lass to join us? No, I was sick of the ass too. Oh. Sure, he's a good boy. Oh, it's some life. You know what? I, the last time I played this quest, which was a few years ago, I actually killed him outright. I was like. Mm. Yeah, right. No way you're not guilty. But I'm gonna. This time. First time seeing. I'm seeing this. Spare a couple or two. Oh, it's Tori. Nope, not not now. <laughs> you make a fine sailor. Ramen supper, I never eat. Oh. Oh no, I lied. Actually, I've played this. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Oof. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? 
Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. No, I lied. I actually have played the year. to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. You're out of your fucking mind. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square and preached from it. How funny. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead, they laughed through stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. <laughs> An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A trabirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them. Scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, but... I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Same. Pretty good. <laughs> Just level 16, by the way. Oh. Wait, I have a potion for this. Right. Uh, which one was it? Uh, you. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, come down. Come down, Bubba. Come on, where's my dot? Uh, you. Come on, where's the dot? <laughs> no, still no dot. Come on, game. When it is then. Oh, it dodged like just like that. Click. There we go. Cat can move. Sword. Yes. Uh, sword. Ooh, not bad, except it's terrible. What's this? Yikes. Alright, uh, let's go. Wait. We got nothing here, that means there was stuff to. Do. 
to loot. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Enhanced black blood. Yeah. Oh, that's what I get for fighting a... E... Just blood injuries and magic black enemies. Yeah. That's what I get for fighting a vampire, though. And a cat cat. Nice. And... Oh. No. That's not needed. Else, I'm not. There you go. You won't. Whew. Got a foolproof method for exercising witches. Right. You. Just look at the freak. Better, right? Y yes. Oof. Did you take care of what I asked? Yes. Yeah. The witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. That was quite a fight. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the dryads of Brockelon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Uh. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sure. Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Yay! Yes, girl. Shiny, oh. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. Oh, he knew. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Oh, he knew. What? Seems I was Wait, wrong. He not, didn't know? What? Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. Huh. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Oof. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. Huh. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Damn. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? No. The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't <laughs> the raise fuck? a stink. No, okay. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. <laughs> Naturally, I know her. 
He was my assistant for a year. Any hey. idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission. Well, you cool. can't argue with them. All right. Farewell. All right. Sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. Geralt? Geralt? Sorry, Geralt. Yeah, that... My throat's still quiet. That letting sound. No Get thanks. Well the fuck? Overcumbered because of a one buck? You are kidding me, game. Uh, weapon repair kit. Mm. No. 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 One book. Shitting me. It's not even a book. It's causing me this. Something else. Yikes. Alright. No. No. Alright. You're gone. You're gone. Alright. Dud. Some. People are actually here somehow. Okay. Alright. Do we have time for something else? Contract. New. Hmm. Huh. Bash it under Temple Isle. Okay. Mind the guards. Alright. That's gonna be enough for today. Uh, and uh possibly tomorrow uh we're gonna do some hunting and get on with the main quest it seems well thanks for coming and bye bye Boom.